is good guys yo welcome to another video today uh we literally have thirty seven hundred dollars worth of parts for the truck that shelf full of parts bottom shelf is full of parts so yeah so first box we're gonna be opening today is this box for mission mode i didn't even pull it out yet i literally just cut the box open i was about to start it but uh, a lot of people like content on the truck some areas so why not record the whole process so anyway um we got a mission mellow um trans cooler i bought so i'm gonna go ahead and install that one um i can't so i fixed the issues if i haven't i didn't make an update on the video on the truck yet so we got the brake issue right now fixed right temporary so i need this uh, let's make the breach 100% correct right now. So, right now, I bypass the real brakes. See, on the fit. So, I need this level. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's something about um, the thing. I forgot what it's called. Something level. But I need this piece. And I need to order it right now. I should do it. I should go online right now. Order this piece. But for the time being, I bypass all this. So I just literally just ran a brake line from the front to the back, just going to this rib, this rib brake. Um, this side is not connected, as you can see, because this is just an old line that I haven't even took down yet. But the real brake line is right here. I gave it a lot of slot, it's a lot of slack. So when I do move this thing, it won't be all tense up. So that's the I. This it's temporary, so don't fuss on me. It's literally the temporary too. I can buy that piece. Cause inside, I tried tapping it out. I tried doing everything, cleaning it out, and everything, and it will not hold. Like I can screw down the 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 um the bolt down, and it will not go all the way down to the bottom. So and it's rusted out. And also, I found out it has a little crack on the bottom of it too. So I just want to go ahead and replace the whole thing, the whole line, and everything, and get a brand new one. So. Uh, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. The whole truck rusted. But anyway, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. But yeah, so we got that brake, and then we got the two fronts, which I'm not gonna be like when I do move. I'm not gonna be driving this hundred miles down the highway in the first place. So I'm going to take it nice and easy, slow and steady, because I know it's gonna be a lot of work, especially on the front two brakes moving this. I mean, stopping this truck. So I just want to let you guys know about the updating the brakes. Um, all that fits. I just gotta bleed the front driver side and yeah the front driver side and then that'll be done so uh anyways so let's go ahead and take this out of the box and go ahead and install this bad boy ah uh, stay on top of Jesus So, here's the new hands cooler. And it gave us, oh, I won't drop the camera. It gave us one black line, a couple fittings, so. Should be pretty easy to install. Nothing to it. Uh, let's go see what the old one looks like. So, here's the old one. And this is what the new one gonna be. So I'm very really excited about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this thing apart. Uh transmission already been empty drain. I can't start it up right now without transmission fluid actually. Charlie goes to the store and buy some and they are out. So um just all some power power driven diesel outside and get some shipped out here. But for the time being we can go ahead and start this thing. I wanna go ahead and start it fast too today. The air dog. But, I don't know. We'll see how far we get along with this. So, I'm going to go ahead and undo the lines at the bottom. Which should be... Let's see. Oh, God damn, I feel old. So, there go the two transmission lines right there. And then... Yeah, so... 
undo this line and undo that line and that shit just come out and then we just put the new ones on so I'm gonna go get twos real quick pretty much got two 10 mil on the flight here get this job done go ahead and take this off before I continue with this install you guys didn't know we did sell the old alley that was right here in the driveway so yes that is gone I saw it about two days ago today is Monday I saw it Saturday night for 100 bucks so just a shell pretty much so we literally got the old alley right here like I said I'm gonna be making more content on that car and we got a lot of plans for that car if I keep it we don't know yet but get back to this this installment like i said yeah this boat here this boat here and then one down there where you see that wrench that take those three out and then take your lines off and yeah so once i get those done uh show what you do with the where to take the lines off at underneath all right so one of your lines is right here mine have two c i mean hose clamps up there um that's where i'm gonna break my line up take both hose clamps off and then i'm gonna break it right here on this hard line at the uh, the at the joints so I mean at the finish so um there's the two lines I'm gonna take off at that uh, I'm not for sure on some charts might be different I'm not for sure I'm not an expert this is uh, like you know trying to see where I can go with this so um take those two off and see what happens This line is old, boy. I get that off. Ain't worried about it right now. Mm. Alright, so I got this line cracked. Thought it was recording, I guess not. Alright, we got this line cracked and everything. And um, go ahead and pull it out. Waiting for it to finish draining. So we got everything out. Um, I gotta come back and get this off. I ain't too worried. The line is fucking old anyway, so it's time to replace it. Luckily, it came with a new line. Anyway, it looks like an extra in the back, so. Oh. Alright, so we got up with a little bit of um, manpower. It kind of broke. Well, well, that's why I got a new one. Now, 
on mine, I didn't like. I disconnected at the junction, at where the fitting in the transmission line. I didn't know I had a uh, C clamp. I mean, a hose clamp up top, but this thing is like literally buried. So I literally, so you can literally take it off from there, so you don't have to undo the connection. So that's another way. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop this right, this new one in, and um, yeah, it should be an easy install. Just the same way that you took it up, put the same way, but put it back in. Major key difference already right, before I even took it out the packet, how thick it is. So this is really be bellow um cooling the trans down especially when um, I'm well, I really want to convert this to a 3500 one day for touring mostly. So this would be a really good benefit. So I just wanna let you know compare that little thin thin can thing. This thing is like really top do it, heavy do it. So I'm really proud of this purchase. But let me go ahead and install this real quick. Alright guys, so we got a little issue going on right now. So <laughs> Compared to the other one, this is much thicker as you can tell, like no point is out. I can get the line clear on this side. I have plenty of room. But on the other side, which would be this side, it will not clear at all, especially this um the mountain bracket for the bumper. So <laughs> I'm about to take the bumper off real quick and probably just leave it off. I don't really like this bumper. Show y'all a little shot. Yeah, so Let's go ahead and move this ugly bumper off and get this thing on, man. Um, kind of disappointed, but it's all good. So, let's go ahead and remove that real quick. I'm not saying that you all have to remove your bumper and install on this. I just have to because it would not go in. I've been trying for the last 10 minutes. It would not force going in. And I'm not trying to damage the fans on the new oil cooler. I mean, trying to make some cooler. So, yeah, I just gotta take my bump. I wanna take it off anyway, so this is a perfect time to do it anyway. So I just wanna let you guys know that. Don't suspect you gotta take your bumper off. I'm just saying, in my case, I have to. Maybe your case, you don't, but this is my first time doing this, so yeah, I'm going by it. I'm, I'm swinging it, so. Alright, so I got the front bubble, all that you just seen. I really need to replace this condenser. My old new one. We'll see. But um now I got whoop. Now I got plenty of room to put my new um trans cooler right there. So oh man, let me grab that out of the truck actually. Ugh. It's just like this now. Oh, look at that. This this money, man, money. But I'm gonna go ahead and set y'all down. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we got the new trans cooler in. It looks freaking good. The only clean thing in front of the truck right now. But it's definitely going to be worth it in the in the future. i probably just leave the bumper off because that thing is raggedy and rusty. So. Oh, man. So, yeah. I don't know. It may clean up. I mean. 
it's it's uh yeah uh, looks all right without the bumper i mean I mean, it probably looked way better if we didn't have all this rust, you know, and the frame was actually nice and painted and like that. But we might leave it off for a time, man. We will see. But guys, this is going to be the end of this video. Um, just want to show you guys the installment of my new Mishimoto um, trans cooler, bro. So, like I said, man, like I always say in all my vehicles, leave a like, leave a comment if you want. Subscribe if you want, bro. Like I can say I'm new to the new YouTube thing, man. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed the content, bro. I mean, it was a trial and error, my first time, my first diesel truck. So we about, to, we about to get this thing right. Like I said, we got a whole bunch of boxes in the back, like y'all seen before. So I can't wait. We gonna turn this thing into this old rusty thing into a soap truck. So that's the goal plan. That's the goal plan. So um, see you guys later, bro.